Hi, classes. Here's um, a screen recording of doing the PowerPoint One project. So our first step is to look at PowerPoint itself as we have it open. We have our ribbon with many of the same options we had before. This is our slide sorter. We have similar menu wor workings when we select an object. We have an area to add notes, to increase and decrease our zoom, to start a slideshow and such. But our first step is to click in this title content box. PowerPoint's arranged in layouts, and this one is title and subtitle. So we're going to highlight this text because it wants us to change it to Times New Roman. And it wants us to change the color to the fifth column, fifth row. And it wants us to make this text in a subtitle bold. We do that through the font section of our ribbon. The next, it wants us to create a list, a multi-level list. We see in this placeholder, a single level list. So we're going to have first and second, maybe even third levels here. So our first, we click to start typing. We have our cursor blinking. These are objects that we can insert things quickly, but it wants us to have ultra modern facility. as a first line, first level paragraph. And then we're gonna have land donated by city. And then we're gonna have a second level paragraph of adjacent to baseball field. So we hit enter. You can use the increase or decrease indents or hit the tab. I'm just going to hit tab and type in adjacent to baseball field. Next, it wants us to resize the picture on slide three. So we go to slide three. We click the picture and go to picture format. And we want to change the width to 6.5. And notice the height automatically changes. And it wants us to align this a little above the diving and lap pools. We'll get a dotted line to place it with the right edge of the picture to the left edge of the P about one and one tick on the upper ruler. So right about here. Okay. So we're going to still be on slide three. We want to enter some notes and we want to enter profits. From the concession stand will be donated to local charities. So now we're going to go to slide four and we're going to change the title to phase two. So we click the title content placeholder and type phase two. And it wants us to change each of these list items with some more detail. So the first is therapy pools improve mobility, outdoor pools have 
slides and lazy river picnic area as enables and red dead jeans. Yep, so now on to slide five. We want to change this layout from title in to content placeholders to just title and content. So we're going to right click this slide. We're going to go to layout and title and content. We don't need our designer feature here. Now with five still chosen, we're going to insert a new slide by going home and new slide and title and content. And we're going to click this slide and drag it under the seven to rearrange our slides and make slide seven, six and slide six, seven. So then on slide seven, we're going to enter a title called opening spring 2021. And we're going to underline this. So we'll choose the text and our right click menu, our mini toolbar, we go underline. Now we're going to enter a, a picture here. So we're going to use the picture shortcut in our content. We're going to go to, it's in my downloads. It's going to be wherever you downloaded it to. We don't need designer. Then we're told to change our width to 7.5. Hit enter. Now we're going to align it so the middle of the picture aligns to the middle of the title content placeholder and to the bottom of our slide. Now we're going to go to slide six and we're going to create a another multi-level list and we're going to start by typing gives total body workout Then we're going to type builds endurance and strength as the first second level. So we're going to hit tab. So builds endurance and strength. And then water offers resistance as the first third level. So we're going to hit enter and hit tab and type water offers resistance don't want to type improves flexibility as the second first level so we're going to hit enter now we're going to hit our decrease indent twice and type improves flexibility and then we're going to type reduce your stress And we're going to italicize total body workout. And we're going to check our entire document for spelling. So we're going to review spelling. I'm going to change concessions. And we should be done. Let me do this file. Save as. It wants it to be in the format an underscore two at the end. And save. I'm going to go back to my assignment. 
upload my file. And submit. 